Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to the finale of Mega Man 2. I would assume it's the finale. <laughs> At the rate I've been going. Uh, this is Wily 3. Uh, do I need extra lives and... No, I'm not gonna... S I'm not gonna use up my crash bombs here. However, I am going to fill up my bubble lead. And use item th 3 to get some more item 3. There we go. So this is Wily 3, the second water level of this game. Lots of spikes. And a uh, giant fish that would only be jumping at you in difficult mode. Uh, it's an, I believe it's an insta-kill. <laughs> now you gotta drop down in the spike-filled water. <laughs> but it's not that hard. All you gotta do is jump all the way to the right and then very slightly move to the left. Not this part, though. You have to be falling directly to the right, otherwise you're gonna die. You won't believe how many... I did get caught by that the first couple of times I played this game myself when I was little. Now, this is really hard to avoid taking damage in this hallway. But the level's already done. I've been recording for over... T for like... a minute and a half. But, oh my god, it's Gutsman. He's back. Wily, why do you love Gutsman so much? And he's a tank. Just keep shooting him in the head with the quick boomerang. Holy crap, quick boomerang has actually got a use. Uh, if you don't finish him off in like 10 seconds like I did, he's going to keep shooting you with little pellets and occasionally throw metals at you. He's not too hard. But now for Wily Stage 4. Four, which used to be the most difficult stage in the game for me. <laughs> you want to make sure you have item 1, 3, and crash bombs filled to the max before you get to the boss of this level. That's all I'm going to say until I get to the boss. <laughs> but there's a lot of dickish enemy placement here, like these metals where you can't jump without taking a hit because of the low ceiling. There's also invisible platforms that you're gonna fall through. How fun is that? It's not, let me tell you, it's not fun. <laughs> not fun at all, in fact it's really goddamn annoying. You can use the bubble lead to pinpoint where pits are if you want. Here, I'll, exp I'll show that off. <laughs> and there's my phone going off. Oh well. Anyway, use the bubble lead here to pinpoint where pits are because otherwise you're going to fall into a pit and die. Spikes. There's the last energy tank in the game, but I already have four energy tanks, so I'm not going to go for it. And now we have Crash Man's gimmick again. Hooray! <laughs> I mean, you, I could jump across that gap very simply, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I'm just going to use this. I'm just gonna coast them on, booyah. And yeah. <laughs> it's really not that bad. In fact, I'm surprised it took them to the second to last area of the game. Well, third to last, but I'm just getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Point is, I'm surprised it took them this long to make this into a gimmick. Outside of Crash Man's stage, I guess. I mean. <laughs> You would think they would make more of you would think they would have made more areas like this. Oh well. Uh, 
It just makes things so much easier to just use the leaf shield here. <sighs> there we go. Now, you can jump across this platform, but it's very tough to do. And I have always just used item 2 to get across. I can make that jump without using item 2, but I'm not going to risk doing it for this playthrough, because I don't want to die, and I doubt you guys want to watch me die. Speaking of dickish enemy placement... Yeah, um, unless you're using a charged atomic fire there, which I'm not going to waste, uh, that guy's always going to hit you. Thank you, that was actually pretty nice, but we're not done yet. Despite all the dickish enemy placement, we now have the most dickish boss in the entire game. This enemy can only be killed with crash bombs. Only crash bombs. Ugh, that was close. Not only can he only be killed with crash bombs, you only have so many shots. You literally have enough shots of crash bomb to finish this guy off. I suppose this, there, there is a way you can glitch one of the shots to take out the wall on that, to take out that left wall there, and the guy on the top, but I am all sorts of bad at aiming that. This boss alone is the reason why people tend to dislike Mega Man 2, because it's forcing you to use a weapon that you shouldn't need to use in order to beat the stage. And I don't blame people for being upset about that, because really, games shouldn't do that. Anyway, we're at the... We're at the boss rush, so fast-forwarding time. And we're set. So let's go take on Wily, shall we? And he's got basically the exact same machine he got in the first game. It fights exactly the same way as he did in Mega Man 1. And I cannot beat him without taking damage. Um, there is a way you can one. There is a way you can beat him without taking damage, and it involves having at least one shot of crash bomb before you go and fight him. As you can see, I don't have crash bomb. So I had to use metal blades because it's faster that way. But Unlike the first game, Wily escaped, and there's no music here. We're just falling into a pit. Uh, I messed up. You can actually, if you fall directly to the right, you can fall through the cave and get ahead of the screen so that you don't have to stop and wait for these lava drips. I didn't do that, so I have to do it the way it's intended for me to do it. Oh noes. So it's a, so you gotta watch me go through this hallway, which takes a whole f 20 seconds. But get the bubbles, get the bubble light up. 
Because Bubble Lead's the only thing you can do to use to attack Wily, who is then alien. Okay then. Uh, the Wily alien just moves in an infinity-shaped symbol, firing a pellet at you at random. It's like every couple of seconds he'll shoot a pellet. That pellet hurts. I think it's like five shots from that, and you're dead. Um, and the only thing that can hurt Wily is the bubble lead. Anything else, be it Mega Buster or otherwise, will fully heal him if you shoot him with it. Yeah. Dick move, I know. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because he look at him, he's ridiculously easy. He's trying his best to shoot me, and I am dodging him like no other. <laughs> you do only have so many shots of bubble lead, so you might want to be cautious. Maybe you don't want to use Bubble Lead on Heat Man during the boss rush. Maybe. I don't know, but... He's done! And look at that, it was a hologram the entire time. Oof. Oh well. It was a good attempt, Wily, but... Get on your knees for the second time, you old bastard. Arrest him now, Mega Man. Oh, wait. There's still eight more games. <laughs> Whoops. And that's Mega Man 2! Now, I guess Mega Man is taking a year-long hike through the seasons here. <clears throat> or something, I don't know. The town seems to never change, it's still there. <laughs> this ending doesn't... Yeah, I'm gonna try not to copy what other people what other people say about this ending. <laughs> Some call me Johnny of the Super Gaming Brothers said he doesn't understand this. He wonders if it's why Mega Man's hiking through the hiking through the same location for a year. And he leaves his helmet, assuming he's never gonna have to fight Wily ever again, but he let Wily escape, so So we know there's still eight more games in the series. But that's Mega Man 2! Now why is this my favorite in the series? Like so many other people. Well, personally, this was the first game I remember actually playing and beating on my own. I had, I had played Mega Man 1 when I when it first came out, but it was so ridiculously hard for me at the time that I could never beat it. I had managed to get to Wily's castle, and I could never beat Yellow Devil, so I just never bothered to beat the game. And Mega Man 2, it was very similar. I got to that turret wall boss, and I could never beat that either for the longest time. In fact, my older brother actually had to draw a map to explain to me which walls to blow up first so that I knew how to fight him. <laughs> and he explained to me, okay, here's where you need to use item 3 to climb up the side, and here's how you use item, you gotta time item 1 to go up here, and so on and so forth. So yeah, I was kind of, it was kind of pathetic. I had to have my older brother draw a map to explain how to beat the boss of Wily 4 for me. <laughs> but other than that, um, and then Wily himself was never too hard for me. I always had... I never had a problem with Wily. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's Mega Man 2. It was... it's still... it's still my favorite in the classic series. Well... 
Yeah, my second favorite now is Mega Man 10, but we'll get to Mega Man 10 eventually. But that was Mega Man 2! And I enjoyed... I enjoyed recording it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I will see you guys again for Mega Man 3 eventually. So see you guys.